74 hours of him giving testimony, lying, 70 hours were lies. Four of it were retarded, made up shit. I'm gonna see if he wanna crash out. I don't think he gangster no more. I don't think he got it in it no more. Woody don't, Woody don't crash out, man. Woody crash out. Your retarded baby with the wooden leg with the kickstand on it. While you buying two AP watches, get that little girl some braces. Forrest Gump mama get him in a school, remember? We all seen Forrest Gump mama before he got them braces put on his leg. Do something for that little girl leg so she ain't got to get picked on in middle school. But, but, <laughs> Cause they go pick on her with that unstraight leg. But, but let me, okay, so, so let's get this straight. But you're disabled too, right? Yeah, yeah, but I was born with two good eyes. His baby wasn't born with two good legs. God didn't curse me, nigga. That baby wasn't, I was born with all my limbs and fissures. I had everything at birth. That nigga baby ain't got everything at birth. One of her legs longer than the other and it's crooked. She got a bow leg and a straight leg. Oh man, that come on, man. I don't come give on. a damn about being what, mean, nigga. Oh, you what? know what I mean. I said fuck a nigga dead baby before. I'm talking about dead people kids. Why, why you gotta stoop that low though? Cause I'm trying to get him to crash out. He lied, he's stooping low and lied and said I put a tracker in his car. He lying on me. So he's stooping low, so why I can't stoop low? But the kid though, the that kid. baby, I don't give a fuck about that young bitch. You know I make fun of kids. I told you, I make fun of babies. I, my grandmama made fun of retarded babies. We got a nigga, ain't nobody in my family retarded. But nigga, we got some big head kids that started out with big heads as babies. Grandmama thought them were gonna be drunk babies. You been drinking with them babies? Look at that, yeah, long head mother. And I got a cousin named Long Head Motherfucker. That's his name that grandmama gave him at birth. Long head, come here, long head motherfucker. I don't give a damn about no nigga, son, you know that. You step on my toe, I talk about your baby if it died today. That the, baby, nigga, the kid I'm a cruel, act, rude, mean motherfucker on camera. The, the, the kid didn't have to be here, rule? Charleston. Who made the rule that you can't talk about a nigga kid when we've been talking about kids all our life? Who made the rule you can't talk about? That's gangster shit. I'm not no gangster. Gangsters made those rule leave women and children out of it. I don't follow gangster rule. I put women and children in it. F your wife, f your baby, f your mama, f your grandbaby, and f your blind niece. Yeah, I make fun of everything. There ain't no rules in my world. <laughs> I follow laws. I don't follow rules. I follow kid, city ordinances and laws and court order. The girl didn't ask to be here, though. I didn't give a she damn. Didn't, she didn't ask to be here. Uh, the Bible says you suffer from your father's sins. You don't think poor children who fathers are absent, they children ain't suffering for what their father did, and they don't even know their daddy? His, her daddy is a killer. Her daddy done killed people. Nigga, you think she ain't got to pay for what he done done in life? Our children got to suffer from their parents' sins, my nigga. This nigga had a shootout with the baby in his home. He don't give a damn about that baby. So why should I? He left the baby out here. He knew she was mentally able and disabled when he went to going to jail on her. I ain't been to jail on my baby but the other day. Had me sad in the mother. So yeah, nah, I just nigga, don't, I, 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 I'm just trying to get him to crash out. So I can, so, so him and Thug need to have a conversation in jail. He don't need to apologize to Thug out here on the blog. He need to go back in jail and let nut me mom and daddy here, I'm sorry. He ain't apologized to his victims. He's still trying to play gangster tough. So let me send him back down there where he can be gangster tough. Cause your kids get talked about here. Online, people make fun of your mama. So if I can get him to crash out for what I say, checkmate. I'm trying to see if he's still gangster, if he'll still shoot that pistol. Because the FBI did have him listed as 10 of the most violent, dangerous people in Atlanta. You don't think the feds still want to get him? You don't think Atlanta prosecutor's office don't want to get their lick back for what he did on stage? So I'm going to help, I'm going to help to get him to crash out. I'm doing society a favor, putting Woody ass back in jail. Crash out, Woody. I don't think you'll do it. I think you're scared to go back to jail. <laughs> Dumb ass nigga. <laughs> you got a hundred thousand dollars, but you can't go get your baby legs straight now. One thing about mama, she went and got her baby a new eye. <laughs> mama went and got her baby a new eye. Wasn't leaving me out here, nigga, just with no hole. <laughs> mama went and got that whole feel. Is it true, um, is it true you asked Woody for 10,000 while you were in jail? Uh, how I'm gonna call Woody from 10,000? How I'm gonna call him from jail? And I've been talking about his dead mama. So you think I'm gonna go, you think I'm gonna miss Sean Cotton? I got Aiden Ross calling. I got Sean Cotton calling. I got Willie calling. Oh, uh, I got Shannon Sharp calling. I mean, Shannon Breed calling. Oh, uh, nigga, I got Rollo and them calling. You think I'm gonna call a nigga and I just got through talking about his dead mama? And call him for 10,000? Well, nigga, I got the, I went and, I, here it is, all this go right here. I went to jail with that in my pocket. I had a no bond. So how can I call him on a no bond? I had no bond. The judge violated my bond condition for smoking weed, so I don't have a bond. So the judge said his ass go stay in there for the weekend. We'll talk about it on Monday. The judge gave me a bond Monday night, so how, how can I call him? How can I use that jailhouse phone that only goes to the people that's on your visitation list? How you call that? I, I think he got a DM from a fake account. But, he I, I, but, but what fake account? I don't have an account. I don't have an Instagram. I, I'm on DM. But why would I call a nigga who I talked about his dead mama and his baby? I've been talking about his baby before I went to jail. So why would I call him? That don't even make sense. That nigga just lying, my nigga. And you call him. You call directly to see what I need.
Not just you, nigga. The Memphis basketball player showed up to make the bomb. Nigga, I had a Memphis basketball player show up unexpectedly to come make the bomb. Him and his girl. So, man, what I'm going to call a nigga that ain't got this kind of bomb money? And he on probation. So how he go send to, how he go send this bond money? My bond ninety thousand dollars. How he go send this money? How he go make it? He don't have a debit card. He don't even have a debit card. So how he go make the bond? And why would I call a nigga with all these people? My wife make twenty thousand. Nigga, all I gotta do is just book an interview. Hey Sean, I, come on now, and you call it. So why would I overlook you, nigga? Hell yeah, tell Sean Cotton I need it. Hell yeah, tell Aiden Ross I need it. Aiden Ross got forty thousand dollars for me in, in old payment. So why, nigga? I just can't say send that forty, Aiden. I already know when I get out of jail, I'm sitting in jail saying shit. It'll be about forty, sixty thousand dollars in interview money. I already know this. So, but then I already know I can't get out of jail. Nigga, the judge mad at me. Nigga, I done violated these bond conditions twice. So I just got out of jail last month for smoking weed. So it's my second time. So the judge said, man, uh, had you not caught that first dirty UA, I will honor this card. But this your second, Charles, I ain't honoring that card. Seemed like you trying to, so yeah, nah, homie, he spanked me. And I had to respect it. So the news broke out online. Um, I do want to say this publicly. I know you felt some type of way about us posting it. Yeah, I felt some um, kind of way about Say Cheese TV because everybody pointed yeah. to Say Cheese TV. But I was in jail, everybody blaming Say Cheese TV. Everybody. <laughs> nah. so, so TMZ so, took it. So, so this is what happened, right? So y'all reported false, inaccurate information. I was, I was, I was held on an insufficient bond. So what it, what it looked like, y'all reposted these same charges. So it's my third time being arrested on these same charges. So this last year when it went viral. So I'm saying, you posting it like it's new, rather than calling my people. Say, Newberry, what happened? Man, you know that nigga like smoke that weed, they done revoked their bond for smoking that weed. But y'all posting it like they new charges. So TMZ, Complex, all these major media outlets is posting this like these are new charges. So that's how, homie, that's how you know everybody miseducated. Nobody does research, nobody reads. So I'm saying, nigga, these old charges, but they posting them like they new. I said, oh well, they go bring new interview. So all we just, really doing is recycling information, old information like it's new, just changing the title. So my civil rights attorney, Kim T. Cole. So I Election day is Tuesday, November 5th. Make a plan to get to the polls and... Y'all subscribe. Leave a comment what you think below. Don't forget to like the video so the algorithm can push it to other people, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to vote. Vote in your, your local elections too, man. You know, start somewhere. I we never use black lawyers too. for criminals. I always use black lawyers for civil. So I got a white, tall, bad mother lawyer. He hate for me to mention his name. He like to stay secret and in the dark. Bad lawyer. I'm 4 0 with him. So he on a criminal. He went to go talk to the judge in the chambers on Monday. The judge told me on Thursday, I don't want to talk. I don't want to hear nothing from him. Lock him up. We'll talk about it on Monday. So, nigga, I'm in court at 8.30 Thursday. Nigga, I'm thinking Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I thought I would go die before I even got back there. I'm trying to process five days in jail. Nigga, I thought I was going to die. Nigga, I'm about man shit. Nigga. Nuts got so tight. Asshole almost closed up. Nigga, I was trying to fart and couldn't fart. Nigga, just say, <laughs> I needed some relief. <laughs> shit. And I couldn't get nothing right there. Nigga, nigga, asshole closed up. And man, nigga, they took the nigga to the back. I couldn't get past the first day. Nigga, I ain't no jailhouse, nigga. Hell, I'm a juvenile boys home, nigga, where they gotta let you out an hour a day. Nigga, they had me locked up 24 hours, isolation confinement in the name of my safety. My safety. Yeah, nigga, I'd rather do a little fight than being unsafe. I want somebody to talk to. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't, cho you couldn't so, choose? So, so I was there all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Oh, I got to make commissary. Oh, uh, goddamn me, we called it Monday morning. The judge said, I sent an email. Because he mad at me. Because it looked like I'm deliberately trying to violate my bond conditions, but I'm not. Uh, so she a nigga, Monday come, we don't hear nothing. So he signed the bond about 4, 5 o'clock, stamped it uh, on Monday. Uh, gave me some stricter bond conditions uh, about that motherfucking marijuana. And uh, she had, Tuesday morning, I, was, I, I posted bond. But now I kind of made, homie, I made $100,000 off with it. So what would I call them for? I already used them and made the money. Damn, so no more no more 20 verse twos, man. Uh, well, I signed Damn. a contract not to do any 20 versus two, homie, because he kept doing all the 20 versus one, doing the 20 with the Shamal. So I signed a contract uh, with a third party person that's that's been, they the buffer between me 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 and the network to do something else with the 20 verses, right? So uh, nah, no, ain't no more 20 versus one. He killing it. And that's all he got the offer. Once, once he, so, yeah, he's all he got off, nigga. I'm an entertainer. Nigga, I do comedy, all kind of shit. Sat so down comedy, shot jocking, a motivational speaker, public speaking, I got merch. So now, nah, nigga, I'm a hell of a motherfucking brand. So now I just, this is what I tell people, my nigga. There's nothing wrong with us using each other. 
But if we don't know how to use each other, we're going to start misusing each other. And once you start misusing one another, that's where the abuse come in. So, nigga, I'm going to use the nigga. I'm going to be around me and I can't use you for. I'm messing with a woman for and I can't. Their friend's supposed to use one another. Don't misuse agree. me. So, homie, once I see this, is all I can do with this nigga. All I can do with him is, man, I'm going to stay with this nigga for. I done made 85000 almost 100000 85000 to be exact by the dollar is what I made off of Woody in one month. I need to keep going with him for. We ain't finna get nothing bigger than that. When you were in jail this weekend, were you in popular? You were you were in a uh, population, me general nigga, population. Man, hell no, nah. nigga, they snatched my mother ass up from the jump. So nigga, I, I ain't I ain't been in, I ain't been going. Let me see, homie. Uh, <clears throat> nigga, they stopped letting me go to population. Uh, when I caught the DWI. So by that time I was already. So when I caught the DWI like three years ago, uh, that's when they stopped letting me go to population. Uh, now they saying I'm high profile. Uh, nigga, now. Nigga, they ain't even gonna have me on the floor long because the niggas go crazy when I go to jail. Not only do the niggas go crazy, uh, nigga, the police be going crazy. They be excited. Charleston White, uh, nigga, uh, police be wanting to take pictures with a nigga. You can't take pictures with an inmate in the jail. So, nigga, the ATF was coming to pick up a nigga. Two ATF agents were coming to pick up a nigga. And look back and saw my name on that mother wall on the door and saw me standing in the door and said, Charleston White, and immediately grabbed his phone. And his partner said something to him, man, you can, yeah, so homie, uh, we still human. People still get excited to see me. The jail go crazy, my nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga coming by the door, the nurses, the guards, everybody want to talk to me, homie. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm too high profile now. And they hide him for my own, you know, my own safety. And, you know, and put, plus, if something happened to me, I'm going to sue the jail. They know that. Yeah, they know I'm going to sue like a mother <laughs> if something happened to me, nigga. They know, yeah, they better, they better just take care of the liability. Do you feel embarrassed or like you let your people down when you go to jail? No. What people? Your kids. Hell no. Nigga, I'm innocent until proven guilty. I'm not guilty of no motherfucking charges. Nigga, I ain't made no motherfucking cat. It was a YouTube skit. Nigga, hell no, nigga. Uh, I feel like uh, my people know me. Yeah, yeah, they know every so often, nigga, I'm going to slide into a jailhouse for something. Smoking weed, uh, bucking the police. Uh, something. I'm gonna, yeah, nigga, I ain't, yeah, they know I'm gonna, something. I ain't gonna do nothing major, but yeah, I'm gonna violate some minor infractions and shit. <laughs> do you, do you feel animosity when you're in jail sometimes? Hell no, nah, nigga, I go get humble. I'm gonna be in jail mad for, and ain't nobody done this to me. Come on, that's, that's the, that's the poor me, nigga. I ain't no victim-minded nigga, my nigga. You ain't. Dave McCormick was a hedge fund CEO. His other specialty? Outsourcing American jobs, sending Pennsylvania jobs to China. McCormick even taught other CEOs how to do the same thing. Dave McCormick, outsourcing jobs out for himself. No, nigga, I go in there and, and, and soul search. Uh, I go to, nigga, I, I self-examine when I'm in jail. Nigga, I don't look outside of me in jail. Yeah, nigga, I go inside to me uh, and, yeah, go to talking to me. And after I talk to me, nigga, uh, I whisper to God. Obviously, listen, God, I know I've been out here fucking up fucking with these hoes, but God damn, man, shit, I need you. <laughs> he, and then I tell myself, nigga, you ain't bothered God in three, four years. Fuck you bothering him for now. Yeah, you been having fun hiding from God on television. Now, all of a sudden, you want to talk. So then I got to wrestle with myself because I done abandoned God since I've been a celebrity. So now, nigga, I be feeling some kind of way because now I got to go talk to God. So I try to talk to myself first and try to uh, get an understanding with me. And then, nigga, turn around and talk to God. Uh, but, nigga, I be reluctant to say anything to God when I go to jail. When I was a kid, I used to run to him. But nigga, I, am, I don't want to be the nigga every time I go to jail to get in trouble. Come on, God. Uh, nigga, I want to try to find him when I'm, yeah, when I'm in the club, feeling good and fucking with a hoe and call on him and say, Lord, thank you for this. But yeah, I don't do that then, so I don't go to jail to do it. I let mama and them do that shit and my wife. Mm. Do you, did you see the video of you getting arrested in the red jacket? Has over a million views. Oh, uh, yeah, that was damn near 10 years. That was what, five, six? That was, that, was, that was at the beginning of the pandemic. I've been seeing that video. Nigga, I had dreads. You think I ain't? Y'all just now seeing this shit. Yeah, I seen it. It's, it's, new to, it's new to us. It's new to uh, us. No, no, it ain't. Uh, it's been out there. So, so homie, this is what makes the internet, this is what makes content creation so powerful. Because you can take something that's already out there and just put a new title on it and present it like it's new. You can do that every six months and keep your channel going. 
You can go get an old video, old Charleston White video from four years ago, and just repost it again, <coughs> and put a new title, and people will rewatch it as if it's new. And then some people say, man, I have already seen this before. But it don't matter. It's out again, and they'll watch it again. So that's, that's what I studied about content, homie. You can recycle old shit and just repackage it as if it's new, and they'll still accept it as if it's a new gift. So now, homie, I understand content. So what this does is it keeps me in the algorithm. It keeps me in the algorithm. It keeps me on platform. Homie, TMZ posted a nigga. So shit, nigga, come on, my nigga. That social <laughs> stock goes up. So nigga, I understand content. So when I saw that shit, I said, man, nigga, all they doing is making the brand bigger. Because white people saying, man, he's very polite when he go to jail. He's very respectful. He respects law enforcement. And then they got to see me before the internet fame. So the dreads in the red jacket, that was the community activist Charleston. Nigga, that before anybody knew me. That was the community activist Charleston. The single dad who, who, who just bought him a BMW brand. I had just bought me a Benz, a BMW. I had just moved back from California. So I come back from Cali balling. You see how I'm trying to look like a little pimp? <laughs> nigga, I'm yeah, nigga, I come back from Cali balling, nigga. So nigga, I'm happy to be back home, going to go pick my daughter up from school. I'm the single dad, and nigga pulling up in the BMW, go pick my baby up. So now, nah, homie, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it makes me more polarizing. Yeah, it was funny. The title, they titled you as the community leader. I was then. At that time, I was. I was heavy in it, nigga. Yeah, at that, you see the jacket, nigga, wearing, nigga, got tried to, yeah, nigga, I was shirt tail tucked in. Yeah, yeah, nah, homie, I, I was heavy into it, homie. So, uh, it, it, uh, it, it just adds to the polarization. Yeah, it was a part of the video for like 30 minutes where you were just straight talking. Yeah. Was that, were, were you trying to finesse your way out of jail or Hell what? Hell no, nigga. Uh, I, I was afraid because the, because the world had just shut down with the pandemic. So I'm thinking, man, nigga, if to go to jail, it might not be able to get out because the world had just shut. So then, nigga, they weren't even opening sales up for it, nigga. They were putting you in a cell because everybody was scared of this new pandemic. Nigga, I was terrified to be in jail, nigga, because I didn't know if I could get out during this era of the world shutting down. So yeah, now, nah, nigga, uh, one thing I know, uh, when they pulled my record, because I got something that says I'm dangerous. Uh, nah, nigga, when they give me them handcuffs, they ain't letting me go because of my ideation. So uh, I got a medical record that, that, that has me classified. I got a mental health medical record that has me classified as homicidal and suicidal by ideation and preparation. At one point in time, nigga, I was fighting and bucking the police so bad around here, nigga, they thought I wanted to commit suicide by a cop. So when, when they admitted me into the mental hospital, nigga, I had over 300 rounds of ammunition, guns in the car, all type of black liberation. Yeah, nigga, I was on the radical nigga shit. Uh, and I was talking kill cops, you know, cop shit. Uh, Makai Johnson, Gavin Long. So I was talking that talk, homie. So uh, they thought I was homicidal and suicidal. And so when they put me in the mental hospital, nigga, I came out and figured it's best to leave these white folks alone, quit trying to fight the police, and just with these street niggas. They way less dangerous than white people. That's why yo said, fuck, nigga, I'd much rather fight these woodies and street niggas and these niggas that hit me upside the head in the barbershop to be fighting <laughs> these white folks and police and they put me in that mental hospital again. Mm. So nigga, I changed, I changed that shit, nigga. I don't want to fight white folks, nigga. I'm gonna fight niggas. So I've been going, I've been bashing <laughs> niggas ever since. <laughs> and I ain't going back to white people. I don't give a hell what they do. I've been back in the blue, supporting the police ever since. Nothing's worse than getting ripped off at the pharmacy, hospital, or seeing your tax dollars go who knows where. I'm Representative Malcolm. Do you do you feel like you're a positive influence to the community? Uh, yeah, nigga, my community loved me. Nigga, people were showing up all over to come see me. Motherfuckers driving in from out of town. Uh, the community loved me. All the haters online. Yeah, everywhere I go in life, homie, motherfuckers go crazy over me, homie. Jail, outside of jail, restaurants, uh, white people. Uh, man, shit, nigga, I was just live right now on YouTube. White boy begging on the corner right here. Souls all over his body. Charleston White. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I mean, I hate to give a white boy my money. Man, for real, God, yeah, I give him $5, a big and white boy. So, uh, nah, homie, uh, I don't want to be a positive influence on the community. I want, I want to be a, I want to be a financial source for my family. Nigga, I done bought five cars, nigga, my mama, my daughter, my wife, my cup. Nigga, I done, nigga, I'm taking care of my family, nigga. Nigga, dog, nigga, I don't want to be positive. Nigga, I want to be effective, and I want to be a financial resource, my nigga. So fuck being positive to the community. It's nothing, it's the, the community don't need positivity. The community don't need a positive leader. The community just need to go look in the mirror and quit looking for a leader and lead yourself and lead your family. Mm. So now, nah, nigga, hell now nah, ain't no positive force in the community. I stopped doing that shit, nigga, uh, when I came back driving that BMW. So that day, that day pretty much changed your life? No, nah, nigga, it changed when I went to California. When, they, when I got out that mental hospital, homie. See, my homeboy son killed the police officer. And I was ready to go to war with the police behind this death. So, nigga, when I'm over here playing uh, revolutionary gangster for the black people, 
Nigga, that's when I changed. When I realized black people don't want to die, nigga. They don't want to kill no white people for what they done to us, nigga. Black people just want, just want some, somebody to listen to them. But nigga, I was ready to give my life away for the cause. But I realized I was the only nigga because I'm the only nigga in the community doing this. My life changed in the community, homie, waking up every day, going out into the community, trying to help, and I'm the only nigga doing it. And I'm doing this broken poor. So when I went to fighting with the white folk, and the white folk saying, man, something's wrong with Charleston. This is not like him. Nigga, I didn't grow, I didn't have no motherfucking dread. I was a clean cut nigga. I was raised by white people, taught by white people, educated by white people. I didn't go to black schools, nigga. Black people don't have no impact on my life other than me born to a black mother. My mother and white people made me smart, nigga. I went to white schools. I didn't have no black teachers that sold nothing into me, nigga. I had white teachers that made me feel like I was smarter than the rest of you niggas. I had white teachers that said, you're nothing like them, Charleston. And separated me from you dumb niggas that couldn't read out loud and couldn't do the spelling bee and wasn't exceptional nigga on the testing score. So now, nah, homie, when I moved to California, that's when I changed. That's when I changed. So it's kind of like Malcolm. I quit talking about white people and started looking at the conditions of black people. That's when I changed. When I stopped looking at white people and started looking at the conditions of black people. That's when my heart started saying, man, fuck these niggas, homie. So it was long before y'all seen me, nigga, I had already changed. That's how I'm able to get this. Yeah, that's how I'm able to get this now. I changed, my nigga. My mindset changed. I was okay with being poor, real, meek, and humble for the people while my kids, my nigga, couldn't go to Bronx, couldn't go to Six Flags. We couldn't go to Great Wolf Lodge. Let's go over here to your granny house and go swimming. That's when I changed, my nigga. But what was it about California, though? Was it the gangs? Was it uh, the culture nah, or what? Uh, I, I, went, I, I moved to California and landed my dream job. I started working at Diamonddale Adolescent Group Home. Uh, working with the young niggas at the, at the, at the, at the YA, at the Youth Authority. So I moved out there and uh, I started understanding uh, TAC and marijuana. Because the white folk had just had me in the mental hospital, they were trying to put their dope in me. So I moved to California to smoke the weed and get that white boy drugs out of it. Because that white boy drugs will fuck your mind up. See, weed ain't really good for the white boy mind. Weed is for the black boy mind to get a black boy piece. See, the white boy smoke weed and think he can fly and try to jump off a building. The black boy smoke the weed, nigga, and get relaxed and calm. He, he don't, he's not angry, he's relaxed. So weed is for the black boy mind. The white boy need the anti-drugs drug. He need the psych, psych drugs. The black boy, just give him a little weed. Just let him smoke a little weed, he'll figure it out. So nigga, I went to California to go smoke some weed legally because weed still is illegal in Texas. And I needed to push that white boy dope out of me because they were shooting it up in me because I wasn't taking it. They was so nigga, I had to go smoke, 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 smoke. And nigga, as I was smoking, I find out that marijuana has a medicinal purposes. So I would Google the names of the weed and see what this does, understanding the TAC levels or the turpentine. So nigga, I wanted to become a student of what I needed for my body. So when I moved down there, I had already started putting in uh, uh, applications to work with you because I had been working with you. So as soon as I got down there, before I moved down there, I landed a job. I flew out there, done the interview, got the job, then moved out there with my partner, Willie Gaffer. I stayed with my nigga and his wife at first. But my nigga working, I ain't the type of nigga live with you and your woman. Nigga, you nah, my nigga. I go stay in the apartment. So rather than me staying with him and his wife, I went and slept on my nigga's mama's couch. And she got up every, Miss Linda got up every day. My nigga made me breakfast like my mama would do. Made me some coffee. I worked at nighttime. So I worked from 11 to 7 at night. I get off at 7 in the morning, Miss Linda make breakfast for me. We sit on there, I smoke my weed, she smoke her cigarette. We watch that motherfucking California news. I finally go to sleep by 10, 11 o'clock. My nigga get off at 3 o'clock. Me and my nigga hitting the rodeo. We hitting the, the fashion district. We going to go put game down, nigga, because I was looking to sell some shit. So in California, I learned retail. I learned about weed. I learned how to go buy the knockoff purses. I learned how to go down to the fashion district, nigga, and meet with the foreign people to go get the bad ass polo shirts that the nigga. So shit, nigga, I started coming back with shit. So nigga, in California is where I, I developed the mindset where the old nigga said, nigga, you got to have something to sell to your people every day. So while I'm in California, I'm walking her. I'm catching the Uber her. I'm going to the mall. I'm going to bed. So I would take pictures of shit. In it's the one takeaway. But more than anything that will matter is getting those registrations and then getting shit in the mall. Post it on Facebook. Say, man, how can I get that? And put a little extra. I would go to the dispensary, buy, spend about $50 worth of weed, take pictures of the weed in the sunlight so niggas see the crystals on it. Now niggas send me, say, man, can you get it? So now niggas sending me their money. So now nigga, I'm walking by the post office, dropping weed off in the post office, playing like a bone. But I'm shipping weed back home. Now I'm getting on the planes. I started getting on the plane with the weed, with the fake knockout person, coming back with them Louis Vuitton, Gucci bag, selling them, my nigga, down at the classy lady stop shit. I had something to sell now. So now, now I, I got a business mind. I done went from community activist, angry, poor, black, struggling daddy, uh, to coming back from California, nigga, with economics and trade now for my community. 
and shit, nigga, I ain't looked back since. I came back, nigga, I bought an S550 Benz. So I bought me a two, you know, everybody was loving them 2007, 2008 S550 Benz. I finally bought me one of them the nigga couldn't tell me shit. Then I come back two weeks later after Nipsey died, <laughs> and get that motherfucker 750 LIBW. Black man, where, what are you gonna tell me shit? Nigga, motherfucker, you know, problem start worrying my ass down. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch had the feet rest in the back. Why you with the teeth? You couldn't tell me shit. That bitch was off the showroom floor. I paid cash for it. Mm. Yeah, nigga couldn't tell me shit. So now I'm popping my shit on Facebook. So coming back from Cali, popping my shit on Facebook. Then I bought the, four, the, the, the 470 uh, GL 450 truck, Fomatic. Boy, you couldn't tell me shit when I got that bitch. So now that's where I went to popping my shit online. You old broke ass nigga, bitch ass. So that's how I got her up. <laughs> so wait, were, were you telling people that the, the purses were knocked off or were you finessing? No. No, I wasn't. I was making them people believe it, nigga. Well, we were scamming for them. Y'all had them people thinking I had a scammer. I was buying them from a scammer. Because what I was doing, I was going to some back room through some back doors and meeting some, nah, homie. They got some game out there. So we would go to the Beverly Hills Center Mall and compare. And shit, nigga, once I saw you couldn't beat the comparison, and now this on in LA. I don't know about nowhere else. Nigga, LA got a mean, man, nigga, got LA. That's some international game, my nigga. The replicas. Look really, really good. Yeah. So, uh, and, and then I had a, I had a, a nigga gave me a connection. So I had a, I had a foreign connection for it. So, uh, shout out to my nigga Willie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, my nigga, I wouldn't tell nobody nothing, nigga. Throw no motherfucking alarm clock in no graveyard. Keep them sleep. <laughs> Man. Uh. So I mean, you were in jail, and <laughs> did, did that make you look at life like, like, damn? Did it humble you a little bit? Nope. You ain't seen, you ain't been seeing my videos I got out of jail. So I said, yeah. No, nah, nigga, I was still strutting in there, nigga. Uh, uh, nigga, I was, yeah, nah, homie, because I ain't done nothing wrong. I'm gonna be humble for it. Nigga, I ain't done nothing wrong. Nigga, when you look at the video with the cat, I meant to bring you the water can, but I can't even have the gun. And nigga, the water don't even hit the cat. The water don't even touch the cat. So nigga, I ain't, nigga, I sprayed water on a relative's cat. And the water never took. So I got the owner of the cat as my as my witness, who's also seen and heard in the video. Uh, the two aggravated assaults, homie, that's bullshit. That's self-defense. Uh, no, nah, nigga, fuck, I'm gonna be humble for. Nigga, I ain't done a motherfucking thing wrong but smoke some weed. Yeah, but I know you just being Charleston White. You can go anywhere, do anything you want to do. To going from that to sitting in the box for five days. Uh, yeah, nigga, it hurt. It cried. Had a nigga ass whimpering on the inside. But that's just on the inside. Nigga, my thought process is, is nigga, fuck you whimpering for. Nigga. You got a bad ass lawyer. Uh, and you innocent until you proven guilty. Nigga, you ain't been sentenced. Nigga, you these five days. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's miserable. But nigga, you here for smoking weed. And every, everybody saying, man, they wrong in the motherfucker. Everybody know they just fucking with me. God, everybody. Nigga. And then my support system, homie, so so strong. Uh, homie, they love me in this city. It's something they hate me now. But nigga, just, just the encouragement from the guards. Nigga, I got, nigga, it's niggas, nigga, niggas putting in requests to talk. The whole jail going crazy just because I'm there. The jail is going crazy because Charleston White is there. So, uh, nigga, the guards, the nurses, uh, homie, uh, man's little nigga named Cedric. Cedric, man, that play for Memphis. Nigga, man, come through, him and his girl. Nigga, he ain't even on my visiting list. They let him see me. So, nigga, I got... <clears throat> he finna get the whole staff in trouble talking about some they ain't even on my visiting list. There are people calling. Uh, and I got an iPad, nigga, where I can talk to my wife visiting me on the iPad video call. And I'm laying in that motherfucking cell, nigga, watching movies. Like, yeah, uh, I just mentally got to talk to myself because, nigga, I'm in isolation. So, but now, nigga, humbled. Uh, it's a time to reflect. Okay, nigga, you ain't, okay, you've been doing this shit for a year. You getting you some rest? You been partying? You been kicking? You been traveling? Okay, nigga, go on, get you some rest. Okay, nigga, why you in there? Go on, do you a little fast. And you been eating out. You been so, nigga, I ain't, I ain't eat for. Well, I didn't eat Thursday. I didn't eat Friday. I didn't eat Saturday. I didn't eat Sunday. I just bought some shit out the commissary. Ate me some chips. Oh, uh, yeah, nah, nigga. So do you some push up? Nigga, did me a little push up. Uh, but nah, <coughs> nigga, it's a time to self reflect. It's not the time to go pity me, po me. Nigga, you like smoking weed, right? Yeah, I like smoking. What I tell you, you like smoking weed, right? Nigga, you in here for doing what you like to do? Fuck you, go be for what? You in here doing what you like to do? You can't be mad at nobody. Can't be mad at the judge. None of that. You been doing what you like to do the whole time. So, nigga, what you go po me pity yourself for? Okay, nigga, what we go do when we get out? Nigga, more merchandise. It's time to plan and strategize. More merchandise. Uh, nigga, get with this person. Say, man, call them people. Uh, yeah, nigga, so now, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm in there giving orders. Nigga, being demanding. Uh, because now I can think. 
Now I ain't got everybody calling me, answering the phone. I ain't jumping up in the morning, jumping online, going, you see what I'm saying? So now, nigga, I can finally got me four, five good days where I can think. And it ain't time to think, poor me. No, nigga, this shit ain't, this shit ain't lasting. You ain't got no life sentence. Nigga, you in this for something you like to do. Deal with the consequences. Don't let these people catch you fucked up down bad. Nigga, don't let these, don't let these people fuck you off over some bullshit. Now, you done done what you like to do. Now, go on, follow the rules now, Charles. Okay, my nigga. But nigga, come Monday, when the judge didn't say nothing, and I'm calling my wife and my mama, and it's 3 o'clock, I said, Mama, I thought the judge said he gonna send an email to the lawyer by 4. She said, son, it ain't 4 yet, by 5. Nigga, when 4 came and it wasn't no email, that's when a nigga fell on his knees. <laughs> 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 that's when a nigga, when the, that's when that pulled me when they're trying to see in, nigga. Cause in my mind, I'm thinking, man, they gonna try to keep a nigga to the next court date. Well, when's the next court date? In December, nigga fell to his knees. Oh, boy, I called on the Lord Jesus Christ himself then. <laughs> I ain't called on the Lord Jesus in so motherfucking long. Nigga, I bypassed God and went to, to Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Nah, uh, but I'm... I don't know, man. What, what he said, he was in there for karma, man. He was like, oh, it's karma. Well, maybe, what's his karma for killing nut? They gave him full immunity for killing nut. What's his karma? And I ain't never killed nobody. I've never shot a gun at a black person. He been shooting guns, he been stepping people, and he killed nut. So what's his karma? The, the retarded baby? What's his karma for killing nut? I heard him apologize to Young Thug. I heard him apologize to the community, but I never heard him say my victims. He, I, he, I never heard him say I apologize to my victims and call them by name. Because you got immunity from the state because you lied on Young Thug. <coughs> and had Atlanta thinking Young Thug had something to do with nothing being killed. So I ain't heard, what's your karma for that, Woody? Because I've never shot nobody. I've never hurt nobody. So how bad can my karma be? Five days in jail for karma? Karma ain't shit. I'd take karma any day. But that wasn't karma. Those were the consequences for my action. I knew when I went to court that morning, I had a warrant. Because I had just went and seen my bond probation officer. I pissed dirty. So I already knew the warrant was coming. I already knew when I got up that morning, nigga, they got a warrant for your ass when you go to court. I already knew that that Thursday. So I knew that a week before. So what's, the, what's his karma for killing nut? Can anybody explain that? All the gangster niggas that done killed people, hurt people, what's they karma? Why my karma got to come? Lil Dirk still ain't got his karma. He done been in rehab and gave his life to the Arab community. When, when they karma? Shit, nigga, I done called on the Lord Jesus Christ. See, most people don't know karma only comes to Muslim people. Karma don't come to Christians because once you ask for forgiveness, it's wiped away. Mercy and grace over here, God. <laughs> Lord, thank you, Father God. Mercy and grace, Father. Oh, I'm over here with mercy and grace. I ain't no karma with mercy and grace, nigga. That's what the mercy and grace is for. That's why I'm over here with the Christians. Karma only exists with heathens, atheists, and Muslims. I heard, um, I heard Woody's response to our interview we did that, that did numbers. It did uh, over a million views. Um, and he seems like a pretty changed man, though. Oh. Um, I mean, his response to you wasn't aggressive. It was, I pray for Mr. Charleston. Um, I don't need him to pray for me. I need him to pray for nut mom and daddy who keep showing up for that trial that won't smile. That's what he told me. He said, every day them people, this is what Woody told me about nut mom and daddy. They stir him down with anger and they never take their eyes off of him. I need him to pray for them. Have that same compassion for them, my nigga. Don't have it for me because I don't, I don't like a killer nigga that don't want to go do time and still trying to play killer nigga. He ain't he, a changed man. Nigga, you got to repent to change. You got to repent to change, my yeah. To be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. While Donald Trump wants to punish women. My nigga. And the first part of repent, my nigga, is uh, acknowledging the victims. And I've yet to see him do that. And that's what I would tell him and his team. I would tell him, and it's, don't, nigga, you done kill people. That's, what, that's why he would get mad at me. Because I reminded him, nigga, you hurt people, nigga. You want me to walk with a nigga who done hurt people, and I ain't never hurt nobody. I ain't never hurt nobody, my nigga. I ain't never brought home to my people, my nigga. So I don't give a damn about no karma. His karma way worse. Look at his daughter. That's karma. That's karma, nigga. What your kids got to deal with for what you done done, that's karma, nigga. Your daughter get teased, nigga, because her leg won't walk straight. Nigga, my daughter graduated high school, so nigga, I don't give a fuck about no, I don't even think karma real, nigga. Pussy is, karma ain't. Um, it's funny, because when you got out of jail yesterday, you was flexing all this money, which you got right next I to I just you. left the bank again. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, gave, they gave me a bag yesterday. I went and got some more just to do that. I just, I just want to do it. And I'm getting my, so what I did, I went and got $9,000 out the bank. I went and gave my mama two or 3000 I bought a house for my wife while I was in jail. I had my manager, I had my manager come get my debit card. 
and go into my bank account. I had him come get my phone, not my debit card. My mama had my, my card. My wife had my card. So I had my manager come get my phone with my banking information on it. My wife had closed on a house for her and my daughter. Uh, so I wanted to put the money up, but I was in jail. So I had my, so they thinking they gonna have to wait on me. So nigga, I had my manager come down there and get my phone, nigga, and have him go into my bank account and transfer the money into my wife's account while I was in jail. So I can surprise on that money so her and my daughter can still get the keys to the house. So nigga, I'm making boss moves in there. Nigga, I'm still a boss now. I still got to handle business. Yeah, I still got to handle business uh, uh, because, because, because Say Cheese TV, TMZ, on-site, no, not on-site, because Say Cheese TV, TMZ, and Complex reported inaccurate information about my arrest. They reported false, inaccurate information about my arrest. I lost a comedy show. It cost me about $25,000. Complex That's reported me. that these were new charges. So Complex yeah. said these are eerily similar to the charges of last year. So when the venue saw that, they pulled my comedy show. Cause they said, oh man, but these are old charges. But because y'all posted as if they knew charges, yeah, my comedy venue pulled my, for yeah, 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 I was booked like a motherfucker at a spot. Damn. Lost me 25K. So the lawyer's name is sending the cease and desist letter. I told him, take Sage TV off the list. You had one That's coming real. too, nigga. <laughs> That's why I called you as soon as I got out. You had one coming. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, I had my lips stuck out like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's real. Uh, but now nah, your fans say that you used to make fun of rappers for flexing money and jewelry. Now you doing the same thing. Oh. Uh, so, I keep telling y'all I'm playing online. They thought I was serious. People really thought I had a problem with rappers. Nigga, that was all. Nigga, I ain't, nigga, I have a problem with rappers and I listen to rap. I have a problem with rappers talking about killing people, black people. I don't give a damn about no rapper flexing money. But I use it for content like I do. And I was broke then. See, they talking about the broke Charles. I ain't broke no more, man. When you broke, you do all kind of shit you don't understand you do. I ain't broke no more, my nigga. So yeah, I'm living like, I just bought me some red bottom, my nigga. I'm living like the rap. You ain't never seen oh, me. I got, I got some, I got two pair of Gucci shoes. I got the black low top Gucci's, the high top Gucci's, the other Gucci's. I got the, nigga, I don't want to got these bad ass red bottom right here. Nigga, can't tell. Nigga, I'm living like man, the rapper. Nigga, hell man, yeah. You talk, man, you talk so much shit about designer, man, two, three years I got, ago. Because I, I couldn't afford it. You remember I told you how I was toward the hoverboard? I used to hate a hoverboard motherfucker. <laughs> Couldn't buy a hoverboard. I hated anything about a hoverboard. <laughs> Nigga, commercials, anything. Daddy, why, why is your damn there want to whoop the kid to ask me about a motherfucking hoverboard? I soon as I could buy one, I bought four of them. So no, 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 my nigga, I, uh, I was just talking broke. I mean, don't, don't pay a broke motherfucker no mind. I was broke, y'all. I ain't broke no more. Yeah. Uh. Um, you, you recently went viral for uh, you was with Aiden Ross were on his stream, and you shut a girl down from Canada who was repeatedly repeatedly saying the N-word. She thought she was nigga. Yeah, she was talking like she was a real nigga. I, I, I'm what you mean, nigga? She talking like it's niggas in Canada. See, the motherfucker don't know, homie, nigga only apply to America. Niggas have never existed in Africa. Niggas have never existed nowhere but on American soil. Most real niggas don't leave American soil. They don't even leave their neighborhoods, nigga. Let alone leave out the country. Where would an American nigga do outside the country? Those are black Americans that have a desire to leave. Most niggas just want to be left alone. They don't have no vision to leave and travel the motherfucking world. Because they know they're going to get mistreated anywhere they go because they niggas. So yeah, I had to shit because you can be white and be nigga by way of mindset. But you, you can't get with niggas and play like you nigga. You got an honorary nigga degree. So nigga is inclusive. But man, nigga, when we go to talking birth and bloodline, they go to exclude some shit. So yeah, now, nah, homie, uh, I started getting offended by her because she was my nigga this, our nigga this, and she was nigga. Harrisburg Republicans spent decades trying to ban abortion. Don't let them fool you. Vote. What I know, when she go sit down with her grandmom and her family, she can't play nigga. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, I'm sensitive about the nigga. And for us to be at, and you said a lot, you said that us, us as black people, we're at the bottom of the, of the totem pole in America. You said we're under Mexicans, we're under whites, we're under Asians. We're, we're at the bottom, bottom. We don't know how to do nothing. So, but why does everybody want to be a nigga when we're at the bottom? Uh, they play nigga. They don't want to be nigga. They want to play nigga. It's cool to be nigga, play nigga. It's, it's cool. Uh, that's only when you're bullshitting. But when they get serious in life, they don't want to play nigga. Most of them kids, when they start getting serious about life, they don't want to play nigga. They only play nigga at 19, 17, 20. They grow out of playing nigga by the time they 25. Paris Hilton them did it. Uh, Nicole Richie them did it. The Kardashians did it. Everybody want to play nigga. It's fun playing nigga. Because playing nigga is all about having fun. Fucking having fun, getting high, no responsibility, being irresponsible, throwing money. It's, 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 it's no... 
It's no responsible requirements to be a nigga. We some of the most irresponsible people. Uh, we don't save money. So it's fine when you're young to play nigga. But when you start to know better, you start to do better, and then you don't want to be nigga no more. Black people want to stay nigga. We want to stay playing. And we don't know how to not go somewhere else and not play. That's why I call myself. I know how to play on whatever stage you put me on. Just put me on stage. I know how to, you put me around white people. I know how to play. You put me on any, I know how to play. Most niggas don't know how to play. I know how to play any role I need to play, my nigga, as a black man. Uh, I didn't start out playing, nigga. I started out playing uh, a well-spoken black man. A black community. So, nigga, I, had, I evolved into playing nigga. And it seemed like I done got stuck playing nigga. Mm. Yeah, I like, I like, when I seen that go viral, that shit was going viral for a minute, man. I, she was mad. She tried to call herself being mad and shit. Like, how you, how you gonna be mad at that? Well, one, one of the questions I asked her, when last time she gave a nigga some pussy? She couldn't tell me. <laughs> yeah, when last time you done gave her, since you so nigga, when last time you done give a nigga some of that pussy? And she couldn't say. That's how you know you nigga. One thing about your nigga, nigga go get that nigga. Yeah, mo, yeah one thing about nigga, they go do some, some of that. FBG Duck's mom is suing Lil Durk. Um, she's suing the label. She's suing King Von's estate, I think. Um, but yeah, she, she says that Dirk and the label is profiting off of, of Dirk's, uh, off Duck's death. Uh, I wish somebody, I wish somebody do that for Tuka's mother. Uh, I've been trying to, I've been, man, Tuka mama need that, homie. Because nobody profited more off, man, Tuka mama, my nigga. I, 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 man, Mama Duck still, I still fuck with Mama Duck. I, I talked to her not too long ago. Me and her go come do a Say TV interview. But nigga, why Tuka, Tuka Mama need that? Nobody has profited more that Tuka name, homie. It's in songs, the, the, the labels, the music industry, nigga, everybody was responsible, homie, for, for, for monetizing that baby's name, Tuka. Until this day, his mama ain't got one dollar. Man, somebody go get a lawyer for her. Nigga, I've been trying, but nigga, I can't find no strong lawyer that'll, man, sh man, I, man. Uh, but, but yeah, man, salute to Mama Duck. But man, Tuka Mama need that same thing, homie, because they have profit uh, uh, enough, homie, uh, off the name Tuka. Yeah, um, but Duck, <clears throat> Duck, he would diss people too when, when, Duck wasn't the same. Uh, Duck wasn't the same. Uh, Duck was a killer too, wasn't he? I don't know if he ever killed anybody, but he definitely dissed people when they died. Uh, man, uh. I don't think he profited off of it, did he? Like the record label profited off his nah. death and Tuka's death. They commercialized mm -hmm. those kids' death, homie. It's just like they commercialized the deaths of gangbangers during the 80s and the 90s. They made it profitable for, for people who was associated with red and blue. They commercialized that and profit off the death of it. What are the disturbing, very- the Billionaires, but Kamala Harris has plans to cut taxes for working people like me. I voted for Donald Trump before, but this- Street nigga, homie, rather than a great rapper. So that's where he losing it. I sat back and I watched it, homie. I've been watching him online. Uh, I damn near called you yesterday and said, say, homie, give me, give me homie number so I can call and just rap to him. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying, homie, that, he, he, ain't, he ain't got the kind of spirit on him uh, that, 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 that uh, openly welcome uh, somebody trying to breathe life into him uh, and, and, and give him some good game. So yeah, 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 yeah. So, cause you missed that interview, did you? It was, was it one of them things where you, kind of didn't want to sit down with him a little bit, or? Uh, uh, no, nah, nigga, uh, my phone went dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then I just said, fuck it. Uh, yeah, you know how a nigga be getting into it with it, bro. Yeah, 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 that's how, yeah, that's how, yeah, man. Uh, them women can fuck up some shit. Man. Yeah, yeah, they can, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they'll pull the nigga fire out. But yeah, now, nah, nigga, uh, uh, yeah, now, nah, nigga getting into it with the old, you know, me and the old lady were going back and forth. Uh, phone went dead, you called it, man, yeah, man, fuck that interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm glad I didn't, homie, because, uh, uh, homie, he ain't, man, uh, nigga, he ain't, he done miss what God got for him. Nigga, that nigga supposed to be big, homie. And that nigga talented, homie, he got talent. Uh, he done lost the charisma he had. He used to be a charismatic little nigga, homie. Uh, could, did great interviews. But now he look like the old angry prison nigga that want to bully everybody. He want to take everything to punching. And nigga, uh, nigga, uh, the strongest nigga ain't the nigga with the muscles. The strongest nigga is the nigga that can use his mind. He mm. want to go, he, he want to revert everything back to punching. Uh, and he got a talent and he got a gift, homie, that, 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 that'll make room for him if he tap back into that. So yeah, I was disappointed, homie. Uh, nigga, uh, I used to secretly be a fan of the little nigga <laughs> at the same time, couldn't stand his little ass. But I kept up with him. I watched everything he did. Uh, 
because I was I was impressed and fascinated by his talents and, and his charisma uh, to mesmerize and captivate the youth and the audience and the crowd. Uh, yeah, now he like OG person, you know, nigga, the old has been nigga talking that tough guy penitentiary talk. Uh, got one foot in the streets, one foot out, uh, throwing rocks at the penitentiary. Uh, and shit, homie, he falling by the wayside, but he gonna be a hell of a nigga in the streets. But that don't mean nothing ten years from now. Mm. Being it all a hell of a nigga in the street ten years from now ain't gonna mean shit. It all starts with accountability. Yeah. It all starts with that. Looking yeah, in the I'm mirror. Yeah, really angry and bitter right now. Yeah, and I I feel like um, I don't blame Sauce. And I told Yayo this too, and Yayo got a little upset with me in the interview. I don't blame Sauce for not wanting to fight him. Me neither. I done turned down a bunch of niggas trying to fight me. Nigga, what I'm gonna put you for one, you gonna make a bag if I agree to this. Yeah. Nigga, I'm gonna put money in your pockets if I fight you. Not only that, nigga, I put you back up on my level. I give you action at dethroning me and putting money in your pocket, and I'm giving you the spotlight. And nah, homie, we ain't cool like that. Hell no. Nah. I wanna fight a nigga I'm cool with. I wanna fight a nigga I had, I wanna fight a nigga I don't have no problem with. He like me, I like him, we just doing this for entertainment. I don't right. wanna get in there and fight a nigga that really wanna fight but ain't got no motion without me. He can't get no big fight without me. Hell no. Nah. He stay over there, nigga. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I ain't sharing my life with nobody. I don't like. And that's why I was telling Yayo, like, just to go back and focus on the music. You can entertain without crashing out. Uh, Look nigga, at Rallo. Rallo's uh, all over the internet right now. Uh, man, you heard what Rallo said. Me and him was it. Me and him were together. Nigga walked out the stove and said, "Hey, what's up, Rallo, man? Man, you the realest nigga. Woo, woo, woo." Then a nigga saw me and went crazy. Hey, man, let me get a picture. Nigga, that nigga that Rallo couldn't understand that. Nigga, you know, but you don't want a picture with the realest nigga you just said on earth. But you gonna take a picture <laughs> with the nigga that's playing snitch troll. So, <laughs> homie, once I realized, homie, the streets is dead, nigga. Fuck you trying to come be street on the internet for, nigga. Why you think? Woody is so embraced by the community, homie. He quit playing street and they accepted him as a snitch because the streets don't matter on the internet. Just have you some charisma. Be able to make some people laugh. Be able to entertain. Homie, you can abandon street life by just coming on the internet trying to be something other than being street. Way longer career. So, yeah, now, nah, homie, uh, when I heard that nigga say, it's going to take the federal government to stop me. Can't nothing stop me. Uh, that's what only they Trump. He said only Trump could stop him. Uh, uh, Trump ain't thinking about him. The federal government is. <coughs> Trump ain't thinking about no nigga like him. Trump thinking about uh, the Russian president and the Ukrainian president. But the federal government paying attention to him. I mean, well, Yayo, Yayo did say the streets aren't a myth. The streets are very real. I don't know if you've seen the whole interview. Um, happy hour all day every day try our famous chick the boy say cheese on his shit um but he did say the streets are very real and we have to stop saying the streets are a myth because real things do happen in the streets the streets are a myth <laughs> he says we got to stop saying that the streets are real yeah yeah he's still he's still getting high on serve ain't he I, I don't know. I think so. Oh, I think I see him drink a lot. But listen, the streets are talking <laughs> to uh, Niggas is go tell on you. So you're not fit to do nothing in the streets that ain't nobody go tell on. It used to be, nigga, you do something in the streets and it stayed in the streets. That's a myth. It don't stay in the streets. If the, streets, the internet if, now. If, if the streets aren't a myth, then why he not staying in the streets? Why he running back to the internet talking this street shit? Why he showing up on CJ Casino block, going live, letting the people know he over here with the propensity and the potential of violence over in CJ Casino neighborhood on C If the streets ain't a myth, why you going live doing this then? You don't, come on now. The internet is real, the streets is fake. Because everybody coming to the internet to be real now. Niggas ain't keeping this shit real in the streets. Cut off them cameras if the streets ain't no myth and don't let the internet know what's going on in the streets. Cause normally square people don't know what's going on in the streets. I don't know what's going on in the streets, my nigga, if these niggas didn't bring it to the internet. Hmm. I'm not a street person. I don't know who beefing. I don't know what's going on. So if the streets not a myth, how do us regular people know what's going on in the streets? So now, nah, homie, he just talking. He want the streets to be real because that's where he done found himself laying it over on this side with the street niggas, trying to keep it real, nigga. But it looked like he's suffering. It looked like he having a hard time. It looked like he got a lot of consequences and repercussions. And he ain't never happy. Nigga, I ain't, nigga, I'm saying like he never happy, my nigga. So uh, I, I would beg to differ. After what Lil Woody did and YSL and all of that, the streets ain't real, my nigga. That shit made up. Because everything happened in the streets comes straight to the internet, homie, as soon as it happened. 
And street people don't put their business out like that. I like Yayo, man. I, I feel I like if Ye if Yayo gets his mind right, I feel like he can still do something. It ain't his mind, it's his heart. Mm -hmm. It ain't his mind, my nigga. I've been, I, man, I, man, listen. You don't think it's a mental thing with him? No, nigga, I think heart, it's all mental. Uh, homie, your heart. Your heart, homie. What's in your heart, homie? The shit in your heart is what shapes your mind. Your mind end up conditioning the heart by thoughts. Renew your mind every day. Nigga, you can recondition the heart. But nigga, your heart is, man, nigga, your heart, man. Nigga, that's that nigga heart. He angry, homie. He ain't forgave somebody. He still holding on to something. So, uh, man, a contaminated heart poisons the mind. A pausing mind contaminates the heart. They, they damn near in sync. But if you work on your heart, homie, if you get what's in your heart that ain't right out, homie, you can transform your mind. You can think better. But I got to cleanse this first. I got to cleanse this first to try to get this out. I can't start her. It starts her. I forgive me. Man, I forgive mama. I forgive men. I forgive who done wronged me. That's where it starts in the heart. Mm. So, yeah, now, nah, man, uh, I, I, I love the little nigga, homie. Uh, I've been fascinated with him ever since I went and told on him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds crazy. Man, I don't give a fuck what it sounds like. I told on the little lad. Got him kicked up out of them goddamn school. Uh, and I'm proud of it. One of my best achievements in life, I think. But yeah, no, nah, man, uh, I've been fascinated with that little nigga, homie, ever since I heard he turned down that deal with QCP back then. And I didn't know who QC them was, who P them was. And I recently asked P about that. And he remembered the little nigga. Yeah, I actually asked P about that. Uh, so yeah, no, nah, man, I'm fascinated by that little nigga, homie. I, I, yeah, I secretly watch him. He don't know. Yeah, yeah I secretly watch the little nigga. I don't know if you watched the whole interview, but he said that you got your formula from him. Uh, uh, man, I ain't got a motherfucking thing from no little nigga like him. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga ain't never tried to play snitch. I came playing snitch, and I tell, call the police. I, I reported the niggas from his side of town, uh, the Full Trade Gangster Street Harvest Street Crip. <clears throat> How I get anybody formula, and I come from an angry broke nigga saying I call the police. I didn't have. Nothing is more racist than Democrats chaining poor. And then then nigga, I went into comedy. So what formula he left for me? And he don't even understand content creation. He don't even understand, he don't even understand the algorithm. So what formula that he left that he can't pick up and do what I'm doing? Cause my formula working, he was ain't. So why would I take a formula that didn't even work for him? His formula ended up in jail on a high speed chase, mocking the police. They got him some more charges. So his formula didn't work. He got a mathematical formula that's gonna have you in negative 100. Nigga, I got a mathematical formula that adds value. I'm an international brand now with product to sell. What formula did he leave for me to take? Now I don't like that little nigga no more. <laughs> little dumb motherfucker ain't got nothing. He ain't got no game for me to follow. Nigga, you a gang related little nigga. Hood fame, you a hood nigga, a hood baby nigga. With a whole mom. I, nigga, fuck nigga, my mama wasn't no hoe. Nigga, my mom retired I, from General Motors, nigga. I you, think he meant by just going against everybody. Going against who the he went against? Nigga, I went against the streets. I went against gang members. I went against him. Who he went against? Other than the niggas he was cool with. Who did who have he went against other than the niggas he cool with? He was fighting. I'm conversating. Big difference. See, conversation ruled my nation, not hands. Now I come with conversation, little homie. You can't think how I can think. Nigga, you dropped out of school, remember? Nigga, I went to pre-law school. No, I heard no, no, was, no, no, no. I heard Yayo was pretty smart, though. I no, heard he Yayo was pretty smart. smart. Yayo was dumb, nigga, because if he nah, was smart, he, was in, he took the deal with QC. He, he was in advanced classes uh, in school. Man, in, in elementary, because he didn't make it to ninth grade. I think, I think. When Zach got ninth, killed, he, he wasn't in school, nigga. Freshman year. Ninth grade, how smart can a nigga be in ninth grade? In Fort Worth ISD. How in advance can a nigga be in Fort Worth ISD when only 37% of the kids can... Nigga, you can't... Nigga, Fort Worth ain't even got advance. Everybody dumb in Fort Worth ISD. Nobody have ever graduated from Fort Worth ISD and became a doctor. How the fuck he advanced? And he wasn't even going to school at 15. I know the story. His cousin, Lil' Zach, who got killed, daddy is my cousin, Lloyd Jackson. Renee Jackson, his grandmama. Lloyd was smart. Nigga, Lloyd went to Nolan 
how this little nigga smart and he only made it to the ninth grade and he a high school dropout, was at home with a dead cousin sipping syrup. How he smart? What books he done read? Advanced it, class. It's a lot of smart people who make dumb decisions. No, man, no, it ain't. They recover from their dumb decisions. He ain't recover. Smart people recover from dumb decisions. They call them stepping stones. He ain't recover from now dumb decisions. So, man, man, don't tell me about nigga, nigga, tell me about a kid in Frisco and and, and South Carl. What don't tell South me about Lake, now South Lake Fort Worth ISD. Mansfield ISD, yeah, Grand Perry ISD, uh, Lancaster ISD, but nigga, don't tell me shit about a DISD or Fort Worth ISD advanced class. Most of them niggas don't. But I'm saying, what formula have he left for any one of us to look at and say, man, I'm gonna take the go, yeah, your formula. Nigga, I didn't start out going against people. I started out speaking from my heart about the black community and people start fucking with me online. And I started saying Crippin' Blood. He ain't never said that. And I started with his hood. Crab ass niggas, slob ass. I started with his hood. And he ain't even from the hood, nigga. See, grandmama and them live over there. Nigga claim they grandmama neighborhood, nigga. They ain't from no motherfucking hood, nigga. All you nigga were homeboys who fell out. Now look at you washed up ass local rapper. Nigga, you ain't been nowhere, nigga. You fought you being a soldier boy house, drinking up his serve, nigga, when you couldn't afford it. <laughs> That's the farthest you done been in life, nigga. What formula you done left, nigga? I done put down game, nigga. I done left the formula for a nigga to follow. And every nigga associated with me done paid me and booked for me, platform done went up. Nigga book him, platform go down. Nigga ain't got no winning formula, nigga. Gang related little boy. I'm gang. You gang. That's the difference. Follow nigga. Follow no bitch ass nigga talking no hood talk nigga. You nigga sip serve and gamble nigga. You can't walk in the bank and get no goddamn money. Can't buy your woman no house nigga. You ain't got no motherfucking house in your name. Nigga I got three motherfucking houses in my name nigga locally. <laughs> nigga better shut up talking to me nigga. You ain't got no goddamn game for me to follow. You little stupid ass little boy convict nigga. I ain't never been to prison. Fuck I'm gonna follow you for, retarded fool. I done got mad at the motherfucker. Thinking the little boy thinking he can teach me something. Nigga, you can't <laughs> teach me a motherfucking thing. Nigga, how you mad? You just, you just said you loved him Fuck, five minutes ago. Fuck, I don't no Nigga, thinking he done taught me. Nigga, I ain't learned shit from a retard. <laughs> how do ninth grade drop out? Nigga, I done, man, fuck, man, nah. Nigga, I'm mad at the motherfucker about that, Sean. Oh, man. I mean, that's how he feels, man. I guess man, he came home. Man, nigga feeling. Man, most nigga feelings wrong anyway. That's why they dress the way they dress. <laughs> um, but nah, man, I'm I'm proud of of um I'm proud of your success. Um you came a long way. You every and it, it seems like every time people like to put a ceiling on you, you go to another level. Um but there are people there are a lot of people mad at you right now too about the little girl situation. What well, little girl um, situation? The Woody situation. And man, I, I, I feel like that's kind of messed up. Man. Remember that's when messed I told up. that nigga fuck his baby? They stay mad at me, Sean. You think I, I keep saying fuck a nigga baby? I ain't changed. I've been doing it for five, six years now. And, and they haven't canceled me, they hadn't banned me. I said something about the Asian baby and made the Houston news. They had everybody don't play segment. about that. Remember everybody that? don't play about their kids though. Everybody don't ain't play about their kids. Ain't nobody done nothing to me. They got to I don't, I don't, I don't want nothing to happen to I you, do. I'm just saying that. I ain't nobody done nothing, so what's gonna stop me from saying it? I gotta be some consequences to make me stop. You see how the judge hit my motherfucking ass? You had go jail, nigga. I quit, Yana. <laughs> ain't nobody done nothing to me to make me stop. Nigga, I'm a nigga understand consequences. And to, nigga, I ain't, I ain't got no consequences for nothing I done said. Fuck, I'm gonna stop for now, nigga. And ain't nobody done nothing. Nigga, gotta make a believe out of me. Because I know most people don't want to die or go to jail and leave the little baby I was talking about. Because I'm gonna talk about it when you left her. Nigga, I done made fun of everything everybody loved. I ain't stopped yet, so what makes you motherfuckers think I'm gonna stop now? I'm gonna make fun of another baby. <laughs> Yo, dude, see, yeah, I'm gonna make another motherfucker. Make. So, nigga, I don't care about the world being mad at me. I showed up making the world mad. Remember King Von died, and I said, King Von, remember how mad they was at me? They swore I was gonna get killed. Remember Nipsey Hussle died, and I said, Nipsey Hussle. Remember I said, Nipsey Hussle, baby. Remember I said, Nipsey Hussle, mama. I thought they were gonna kill me for that, son. And I said it again. Remember I said that? I said, man, nigga, Nipsey Hussle, baby, nigga. And then nobody do nothing. So I was looking and waiting, saying, okay. So what's gonna make me stop now, Sean? And I done push this shit as far as I can push it. They gotta teach me something. Ain't nobody taught me nothing yet. I'm a hard-headed motherfucker. I had two violations, and the judge just wasn't gonna take no more. I had one, then two. Now I know better. He spanked my ass. I got a consequence that hurt, nigga. That nigga that hit me sleep, I, I still talk about that nigga. He didn't hit me hard enough. The consequence wasn't bad enough. Yeah, nigga got to hit me in the mouth and the lips swell up. <laughs> Make a nigga quit this shit. 
You can't hit me in the head, you gotta hit me in the mouth. And nigga, ain't nobody hit me in the mouth yet. If you don't like what I'm saying, hit me in the mouth and see if I shut up. Until then, the baby, little retarded motherfucker with the wooden leg with the kickstand on it. She can't do this, make them all with the legs straight. And my baby can, my baby did gymnastics. And she can do the split and both her legs were straight. If his baby do the split, she gonna have a hook leg. Yeah, yeah, I know how to paint a picture to make a motherfucker mad. I want the daddy to crash out. <laughs> oh, man, I, I recently, I don't um, down by nothing, but what I want to do, nigga, when I want to do it, fuck a nigga feeling. Keep telling nigga, hit me in my motherfucking mouth, and I think I'm bad by myself. I be in Atlanta by myself, I be everywhere by my motherfucking self. Me in a brawl, nigga, hit me in my motherfucking mouth, nigga, shit. You think I done said something wrong, uh, and that fuck your feelings. I don't give a fuck about being right or wrong. I just care about being effective, and I'm a cunt. This October, stop by. Seem like I'm take take personal shot, but this ain't personal. This is all business in my mind. I recently um interviewed Orlando Brown. You did, and um yeah. How the fuck, did. man? You got that nigga <laughs> sit down and talk. Oh, you did. Boy, it's hard <laughs> to get that nigga. Yeah, man. He uh he loves you, man. He loves you, and uh, I don't I don't think he's crazy. I don't think he's crazy at all. I think he talks in code, but I don't think he's crazy. You 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 had him sober. You must have had the sober Orlando. I had like 20 different versions of Orlando in one interview. Oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was him. If you got, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think he crazy either. I think he beyond crazy. Shit, that motherfucker insane. <laughs> <laughs> man, that motherfucker insane. Yeah, man, I think, he done, I think he done seen and had to deal with so much. It's just all mixed. I think it's just all uh. mixed. And, and he know how to act. But nigga, when the camera's cut off, nigga, you don't know if he's still acting or not. That's what's scary. Wow, Victoria told, said the same thing. Nigga, when the cameras go off, you don't know if this nigga's still playing or not, my nigga. So that's what's scary. So that's the that's the fine line between reality and insanity, homie. They begin to cross lines. So then what the old nigga told me? He said, nigga, I'm really a real respectful person, homie, in real life. I really am. Very mountable. But because I came on the internet playing this character, the old nigga said, nigga, you've been playing this character for so long, you don't become the character. Nigga, this ain't you. You don't talk like that. You don't cuss. Nigga, you a very gentleman. Nigga, you a very respectable young man. But nigga, you been playing this character for too long. Mm. And I'm thinking you getting stuck in character, nigga. And I told him, nigga, I don't want to come out of character. Much fun I'm having, <laughs> nigga. Fuck this shit. <laughs> nigga, I don't want to go back to being serious, nigga. But he made me think. He really made me think. Nigga, you might be getting stuck in the character like the rap niggas. Mm. So that's why, nigga, every now and then I got to come off character and come get on stage and play comedy. That's why, nigga, I got to find a way, nigga, to come get in this movie and play a serious role, nigga, so I don't get stuck in this character hmm. because the character is working so well. Cut! Nigga, I'm still playing the character because what I realized, homie, that's who people want. They don't want me, nigga. Motherfucker don't book me. Nigga, they ain't coming up to see. Because when they see me in person, they be saying, well, do this, say this. And I'm more observant and quiet in person. Yep. I'm very observant and quiet in person, homie, but people don't want that part of Charleston, so, nigga, I go in the character and they go crazy. So, nigga, I'm, I'm the character. Do you think he's on drugs or do you think it's, you think it's Both. drama? Both. We all on drugs. You don't nigga walk around and be sober, fighting with the woman. The rest of us on drugs. Then I ain't now. Yeah, you don't nigga. Uh, and that's because you a different kind of nigga. But nigga, you don't want one squabbling and fighting in the house with a sober mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yo, you, you, on you, nigga. <laughs> yo, you cracked me up this morning, man. How you know, man? How you oh, know this I, morning? Because I know you. Uh, nigga, I uh. know you naturally a happy person. Uh, mm. Nigga, you naturally vibrant. Uh, you normally bright eyed and bushy tail and your in, in spirit. And nigga, your tone was too yeah, it was too low. Mm. Yeah, it was too motherfucking low for you. So yeah, I say, I, I, I say, yeah, man. This in the morning, but nigga, sound this low. I said, yeah, man. This this guy Charlton, man, he's a prophet, man. Like, you just you got it all figured out, uh, bro. Nigga, like, uh, we we got a spiritual connection, nigga. So yeah, nigga, <laughs> I know how to call my people, nigga, that I'm connected to and hear their voice and can tell something wrong. And nigga, I know you ain't no troublesome nigga. So what other problem can a nigga like you that got the kind of money, that got the kind of platform you having this early in the morning? And you saying I'm with the baby. The baby not crying. So shit, nigga, <laughs> yeah, that's the shit. <laughs> Don't stop it. Hey. Yeah, nah, homie, so I, I just did a quick assessment. Last thing, um, man, Rainwater really wants to sit down with you. I never do uh, another Rainwater, homie. Rainwater, Rainwater like Woody, homie. See, most people would not tell the truth on me. Nigga, Rainwater years ago lied and said I was dying of a disease like I had AIDS. This man Rainwater, lying motherfucker, homie. The nigga lied in, on a platform. That nigga said he walked into a club where they got men and women in the biological weapon. And they put
put this in Saddam's hands too? What do you together and he saw me come out of style with three niggas wiping my nose <laughs> ain't never even seen me with two in life period but he said i was in a stall at a club with two niggas. we come out the stall i'm wiping my nose <laughs> and i tell him mind, mind, you mind your business <laughs> i ain't talk like that nigga i done come out of stall at a, and don't nobody got no footage of it he ain't oh, said nothing shit. man i wouldn't dare sit down with a line like that. I, mean, I would never do nothing with that nigga. I, I think I think he misses you, man. I think uh, he needs that guy no, to. I don't miss no nigga that allow on you. That's why I had to get Woody away from it. They allow on you. Nigga just dry allow on you. You can say I put a tracker in his car two weeks after I was in Atlanta. So he wait two weeks after I done flew him to my house, give him my address at one of my. I, I give him the address to where I stay at. So I'm gonna set you up and give you the address where I live at. Think about that. I'm gonna set you up, fly you to my house where I live at. For you to give that address to your probation officer. But I left a tracker in your car and you still come. So you find a tracker after I dish you. But you didn't find it. I was just, come on, that ain't make sense. All the niggas you got around you, your bra will go put the tracker for, I will. And so what, I'm tracking your car for what? For who? Because the FBI and the police don't use trackers. They ping your phone. That's how they track us. They ping our phones. They don't put track. They're, 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 yeah, nah, my nigga. They ping your phone. Every time you go live, it'll damn let them exactly know where you at. So he said, I put a tracker and he find it two, three weeks later after all of a sudden. Nah, homie, I don't want to do nothing with no nigga that'll lie. One thing I ain't finna come do is lie, my nigga. Hmm. One thing I ain't, I ain't just finna come tell me just, just to be lying. So nah, my nigga, I don't want to do nothing with a nigga that'll lie on you. A nigga that'll steal from you. So nah, my nigga, and I ain't riding in no nigga car that much, my nigga, to put no track on him. I'm with a brawl when you see me. It's me and a brawl. Every time a nigga see me, it's me and the bra. I'm going to keep a bad little bitch with me. Go keep it. So, nigga, I ain't got time to track you, nigga. For who and for what? To put me into a conspiracy to murder and somebody do something to you? Why would I involve myself in these criminal charges that you got over here in Atlanta and I ain't got no ties to Atlanta? And I'm over here fighting. So why would I inject my... Come on, man. That shit don't even make sense, my nigga. But it's his management. His management been using my name from the time he got off that stand trying to use my name to get in bookings. All they're doing is using my old contact list. That's all she's doing is using my old contact list when she used to work as my publicist. And then I made her management. And once I realized my friend can't manage, she dumb, she don't know this, man, she really kind of slow. She called me back and said, you think I'm stupid? Who told you that? Yeah, I think you stupid. Told that to her face. Yeah, I think you stupid. And I think you trying to sabotage me. Fuck you over here with my wife up, telling me I need to pick between my wife and my girlfriend. But you ain't got nothing to do with this hoe, and you my friend. Fuck you on my wife's side for. That's what made her fall out. Charles, you need to pick between your wife and your girlfriend. What? Her hung up on all that. <laughs> y'all pick both of them. I got, why I got to pick one? Y'all pick both, hoe. You in my personal business for, and you my friend. In my manager, you ain't got no business taking the wife's side. That's how we fell out. So then she started trying to manage Woody, Shamar, Boosie brother. That's who brought Ben Man Kevo manager to me, Big Titty. She brought Big Titty down here to me. We went to the club to DG. That's when I got into it with DG. Big Titty talking down on DG. It had me feeling bad. So I break back. And I'm going to say, DGs, I'm sorry. I miss y'all. Like, motherfucker. I'm not bullshit. Listen, DGs, I miss y'all. I won't come back. <laughs> can, what can we do to make this right? Yeah, Wait, what, you banned from you, you banned from DGs? I quit them and talk so bad about them. They told me I can't ever come back. And I'm saying, <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, listen, I don't, man, I'm sorry. I get on my knees, y'all. Uh, DG, listen, I miss y'all. I miss the music. I miss the DJs. Uh, man, please let me back. It ain't been no more fun in Dallas since I ain't been able to come. Y'all have to fly out of town and go to Magic City, Blue Flame, Strokers, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Playhouse, 24 Carry Gold. I got to go all okay. them places to have fun now. And y'all just right up the street. Man, come on now. This ain't right. Let's make up. I was wrong. I, I was wrong, DG. Kraken Client Support is here to answer all your questions. We all need a little help sometimes. Well, Sean, let me get a bag out this interview. Golly. But yes, I was just trying to flex for, for Big Titty. He talking about, oh, man, I'm going to take you to a better club, Charles. Man, you, man, you ain't no, nigga, you talk, this is a premier club. It's just a matchbox. That's <laughs> you talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, nah, I mean, that's when I fell out with him. But nah, man, uh, my nigga, I don't want to do nothing with no nigga that'll just dry start lying. Just dry, that nigga, that nigga Rainwater been lying on me. That's why I don't even speak on the nigga name. That nigga just been lying, my nigga. And he's a known liar. 
He's a known liar. Nobody believes nothing he say. And he ain't can't put no artists on. What happened to all this artist? Little GM, uh, babies. What happened to all them people? The other little white girl that, that he said had the disease, whatever her name is, the little rapping, little fine, little cute white girl that was selling pussy. Yeah, Pink yeah, yeah, the little hoe that was selling pussy and trying to rap, but like selling pussy over rapping. Y'all yeah, that, man. Niggas just, man, nigga lying, my nigga. Mm. So now, nah, homie, I, I f with niggas that can be straight up and real. Yeah, now, nah, homie, I felt this way about you. Nigga, I felt this way with shit, nigga. Other than that, now, nah, my nigga, I stay away from them kind of niggas. And he's a cancer. He ain't the kind of nigga that brings shit together like you. Nigga, I got a movie premiere, nigga, that's finna hit the, finna hit the city. Goes, man, man, shit, nah, man. Shout out to Meezy, man. Uh, a movie called Wrong Address. Uh, nigga, we had a whole soundtrack coming, nigga, with Trap Boy Freddy and, 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 and Yellow Beady. But once that shit happened with Trap, I ain't doing nothing. But them niggas can't get no action with me, nigga. None of these niggas get no action with me. I'm a big extra plug, nigga. Mm. Yeah, big extra plugs on fire right now. Man, that's my nigga. I love that big nigga. Don't never got a shirt on. Big old fat black motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how women like it, but they like him. They like that big black motherfucker. So you're pretty booked up. I mean, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Cases can get pretty expensive. How is? What's your plans with everything? Knowing that you're, you know, you, you got you're fighting the case right now. Oh, well, 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 what you do here when I first caught the case, nigga, I paid half up front. So, so, so I got, so I'm down to like thirty thousand. So it's like ten per case. So I got three mm -hmm. cases. So yeah, nigga, I get yeah, I pay half up front. So nigga, get out of jail, nigga, go pay the bail bomb, and then go take the lawyer. So nigga, I don't just pay my lawyer. So, so, most niggas just try to go pay the lawyer. Nigga, I pay the lawyer and the secretary. Because the secretary work on behalf of the lawyer. So that's who calling the court. That's who pushing the paperwork. So nigga, I got, that's what made me go get this money out the bank yesterday. When I got out, nigga, I went, that, what, that money is to give away. So I gave my mama 3,000, uh, go take some to the lawyer. That's just extra. Because he had to go work extra on this bond. So nigga, when I'm getting out, the old niggas give me the game, homie. Lawyer, bail bomber. Lawyer, bail bomber. Then you keep money for lawyer and bail bomber. You keep a lawyer on retainer. So nigga, this lawyer been working for me for a long time. We 4-0. Remember I had the nigga out of Grand Prairie, the half a body nigga that was talking tough, uh, the, the Hughes boy, them Hughes brothers. I had an aggravated assault case against them nigga. Same lawyer. DWI, same lawyer. So every time I, nigga, I've been dealing with this lawyer for a long time. We 4 and 0, right? And he's a great lawyer, former prosecutor, great relationship with the courts. So nigga, long before that, nigga, I keep Andy some money. Nigga, everybody I refer to Andy. Nigga, they would love me for that. So, nigga, I don't just go pay Andy. I come in and I give Michelle five, six hundred dollars around Christmas time. That's the secretary. I got out today. I knew my mama was blowing up. I knew my wife was blowing up. I knew my manager in college. So, nigga, I went and got money out the bank. Here go, Michelle. Here go something for you. That that don't go on the book. So I'm tipping her. So, nigga, her, her, this for Andy. And then, nigga, when I hit a lick off you or hit a lick somewhere else, I run down there and get some extras so I can stay ahead. But no, nah, nigga, this ain't getting expensive. Y'all paying for it. Hell is you talking about, nigga, yeah, y'all paying for this shit, nigga. I ain't paying for this shit. Y'all paying for this shit. Because it come with the territory. So not only that, nigga, I got a civil rights attorney. I got a civil rights attorney. So now nah, my nigga, my mama taught us to keep lawyers. Not just for trouble, my nigga. My mother has legal shield. Homie, you keep your lawyer on retainer some way because I've been suing people. So nigga, I know about how to, yeah, now nah, my nigga. So uh, I pay good, my nigga. I don't just tip in the strip club. I tip like this all around. I don't just be tipping them hoes in the club, nigga. I tip everywhere I go because I was taught Texas niggas tip, nigga. That's what make them say, hey, Mr. White. That's what make them see you coming, nigga. Dallas Show Club. And this is why I love Dallas Show Club. They give me a... The most anticipated summer block. All right, y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all go check out the full thing on Say Cheese TV.